Well, good morning my darlings. Welcome to a new day of Vlogmas. We have woken up for the first time this year with a frost. I can't believe that we still had geranium flowers in December. <laughs> but now, they are frozen solid. Look at that, perfectly preserved in ice. Wow, Lola took a video out of her window and it is so magical from her view the other side. She gets to see the sunrise at this time of year. Shared it to my Instagram stories. I might see if she'll airdrop it to me and I'll pop it on the screen here because it was pure magic. I wish we had one of the videographers here this morning because this would have been a great, a great drone morning for the Vlogmas intro. I know it's quite autumnal, the intro, and that's because it's just looked like that for so long this year. What have you found, Dexie? Come on, Dexie, it's too cold. It's too cold for sausages outside. Come on. Mummy, I've got exploring to do. Oh my goodness me. The view from our bedroom window on a frosty morning. The top of the Defender is <laughs> glittering. Oh, this is just pure magic. I love the warm glow that the sun gives. It's currently minus one. Isn't that just heaven? We are heading to Blenheim Palace later today. It's also the Woodstock light switch on and it's going to be two degrees. No, one degree. <laughs> and then zero degrees by the time we head to dinner. So my goodness, I'm gonna have to wrap up very, very warm. <laughs> Good morning to you, my darlings. I've just had the loveliest kind of slow pamper morning. Um, I just wanted to have one of those everything showers. I did my rescue mask and my skin feels amazing now. And then as you can see, I've popped some curls into my hair. I'm not fully brushing them out just yet because I'm really hoping that um, they will last all evening. As I mentioned, we're going to Blenheim Palace tonight. We're heading over to Phil and Hannah's place in Churchill in about an hour's time and I think we're just going to have a cup of tea, a quick catch up and then head over to Blenheim. This year the theme is Sleeping Beauty and I think it's going to be really special. They've got the little Christmas market and they've got the incredible light show. I don't think we went last year um, I think it was the year before that that we last went, so I'm really looking forward to it and obviously with the children I think they are just gonna have the most magical time, but before we go Oh, yeah <laughs> So I don't want my hair to be completely flat by the time we go and I'm gonna be wearing a hat So I thought I'd just leave it looking ultra wavy this morning I'm gonna do a quick bit of gift wrapping before we go. I like to do my gift wrapping a little and often, and I find that that just helps me to stay on top of things. And I've actually hidden a few things here in the pink bedroom, so I'm going to get those wrapped first up. Apologies if I sound a little bit bunged up. I'm hoping my cold is not coming back, but the clip that you just saw was Charlie's amazing Manuka honey, ginger, and lemon tea. And that always helps to clear the sinuses, but even looking in the camera, I can see that they are not, <laughs> they are not totally clear. I look a little bit stuffy. Anyway, on to brighter topics. I have a really incredible gift recommendation for, I would say, someone in your life that loves luxury skincare. If you, I think luxury skincare is such a wonderful thing to give because it might introduce the recipient to a brand that they've not tried before, something that you might love and maybe even recommending to a friend, a sister, a mum, and 
You know how much I adore Eve Lom. They have just got the most gorgeous holiday gift sets. So I wanted to show a few products to you that I will be wrapping because I think they make for the loveliest gifts. This um, this year's design, isn't it beautiful? It's like gold and turquoise and of course the brand's classic white. It's a beautiful watercolour which I think is absolutely gorgeous, links in with the brand's hydration that it applies to the skin. This is the Radiant Ritual set, all of the R's, and it contains basically my favourite products. You do get the face cloth, this is what I used this morning, the Rescue Mask. This is a favourite for both me and Charlie. I have never in my many years of trying skincare known a mask to so instantly calm any irritation on the skin. Um, I don't know if you can still see any little marks there but I did I woke up with really red cheeks like red and a little bit blotchy and I think that when the temperatures drop that's what my skin does it's like ah and it goes red and blotchy but this really brought it down it is a kind of muddy texture so it feels like it's really drawing out the impurities from your skin but at the same time because of Yves Lom's lovely botanical ingredients it's also hydrating and nourishing I don't know what magic they apply but they do this is the cleanser, which I use every single day. You'll have seen me using it a million times. I use my face halo to get rid of the, the bulk of my um, like makeup for the day. And then this is nourishing, hydrating, super cleansing, and full of the brand's incredible botanical ingredients. And then, and then this, sorry, I'm struggling to get my words out today. This is a really wonderful first impression size of the Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. They love all the R's. I would say this is maybe two weeks worth and you'll be able to see the incredible renewal benefits that you get from this product, from that little sample. So for somebody that loves to pamper themselves, I think this is just the most gorgeous thing to unbox under the Christmas tree on Christmas day. Price point wise, if you're thinking maybe let's just go for one iconic product, take a look at this. Oh, actually I think I prefer this little setup um, and hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. Sorry about that. Winter sunlight, I love it, but it's very, very hard to film with. This, as you can see, is not just any Eve Long cleanser. This is a limited edition. They have partnered with a beautiful artist called Agustina Sorrentini. I really hope I have got my pronunciation correct. And her designs are so delicate and beautiful. They are inspired by an English classic country garden. So no surprises that I absolutely adore it. And it really ties in so beautifully to the brand's botanical ingredients as well. If you, like me, are an Eve Lom lover and you just want to give the gift of the most luxurious cleanse, this is a five-in-one cleanser, removes makeup, hydrates, exfoliates, tones when you use it with a lovely um, muslin cloth as well, just leaves you with the most gorgeous glowing skin with the loveliest ingredients, then this is just such an absolute delight, such a gorgeous thing to gift. Um, I just love this little size as well. So that would be my second gifting suggestion. And then, if you are feeling very generous, and then my darlings have had to move you back even further to get, to get this one in the screen. This is the ultimate luxury skincare gift. This is the Eve Lom 12 day super luxury skincare advent calendar. And I thought we could take a little sneak peek together. It kind of reminds me of an old school American mailbox, which ties in beautifully to their love letters campaign. I'm sure you guys have seen that. It's so gorgeous. I've got to now figure out how to open this. You've got this stunning gold veined marble running across. Oh, it's a little bit of a figure it out -er. It opens like this. Oh my goodness, you've got that absolutely stunning waterprint design inside. And I feel like we should just have a little sneak peek into a few of these doors. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is a full size of that Radiance Repair Retinol Serum that I was just explaining from the other gift set. I won't get it out because I don't want to smush it. But that is literally a 30 mil right there, my goodness. I know some people think that giving an advent calendar as a Christmas gift is too late. I actually think 
the opposite. I think it extends the joy of Christmas. And let's be honest, after Christmas, January, that is when we all need to really work on the repair and the glow of our skin. Behind door number one, we have got the brand's iconic cleanser. There are no bad days in this. It's all the brand's most iconic products. I've just realized there is a little handwritten note on the inside of these doors. This one says, love your imperfections. This is a product that I've not tried before actually. It's a di Dina Spot. I've not given that a go. So if you do know any Eve Lom lovers and you want to be able to introduce them to even more from the brand, then this would be a really gorgeous gift. And then let's finish, let's have a sneak peek behind door number four. This is huge. Oh my goodness a full 100 ml of their gel cleanser. I keep their gel cleanser in the shower and I use their cream cleanser at the sink. So they really are the best when it comes to cleansing, gently giving you so much hydration to your skin. At this time of year, I feel like I just need all the hydration I can possibly get. Um, as you know, the SPF that I use every single day is Eve Lom as well. Any of my friends and family are listening, that is always a great little stocking filler but they've just got so many gorgeous products and I think, yes, if there is someone that you're looking to gift that loves luxury skincare, then you just can't really go wrong with any of these pieces, especially from the beautiful limited edition cleanser with the beautiful Agostina Sorrentini pattern on there all the way up to the advent calendar. I will leave all of these bits linked below, my darlings, because they're just so lovely. And of course, I'll show you a few snippets of my evening glowing hydrating skincare routine a little bit later to show you some of these in action but for now I need to get packing no wrapping you know when you're not feeling a hundred percent and your brain doesn't work <laughs> that's where I'm at today but there we go let's get wrapping I don't know if I'm in focus or not, um, but I just wanted to quickly show you my many layered outfit. Despite the fact that it's so warm in here with the sun coming in, it's going to be literally freezing tonight. I love adding my nice cream London earrings when I've got lots of bundled layers on because it just adds, just adds a really lovely finishing touch because they're a beautiful pearl. So I have got thermal, cashmere jumper, super thick coat, scarf, um, thermal leggings, boots, and now I'm going to also add gloves and a bobble hat when we get to Blenheim, and my little crossbody shearling Chloe bag, which I haven't worn in a while, which I love. So all of the neutral colours, oh and this is from a brand called Monovine, not Max Mara, I know it looks like it, so super cosy and excited to head to Blenheim. We wish that we were allowed to come to Blenheim Palace, but unfortunately it's not dog friendly. But it's okay, we're gonna have a really nice afternoon with our granny. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah, unfortunately that frost is going to mean that most things will die back now. About time. Sunbathing sausage. Oh, this is your favorite kind of day, isn't it, Lynn? You love the sunshine, but you don't like to be too hot. So this is perfect. You've got a runny nose like your mother. The Church of Churchill with perfect blue skies. Heading into our favorite little rose cottage. Cozy, cozy, cozy. Normally you can't. How fun. Ooh, excuse the shaky camera work, but we're here. This is the beautiful entrance to Blenheim. It's not quite dark yet, so we get to see the incredible silhouette of the building. Excited. Gosh, it's chilly. Ooh. This is rather magical. We are in the tunnel full of stars. They've got music piping. As you can hear, we've got Coldplay in the sky full of stars tunnel. It's absolutely magical.
think the next stop we're gonna go to the Christmas market, get something yummy to eat. Ooh, and then inside the house. So we've completed the light trail and now we're just gonna trot around the market. They've got a few little gift stalls, a few little foodie spots. Let's see what we can find. Charlie and Phil are getting some biltong. A friend of mine tried to make biltong once. Oh wow, well. mm. it is. It is. <laughs> So they've got a beautiful illumination on the front of the house. We're heading in and I think it is Sleeping Beauty themed this year. Greeted by a hall of nutcrackers. My goodness, this is rather magical. Wow. following the story of Sleeping Beauty as we go through the house. This is Aurora's 16th birthday party. We've got cakes, we've got gifts, we've got a giant giraffe with a party hat on and a rather fabulous tree. What's next? experience. Now we are here at the Killingworth Castle, lovely restaurant for some nice dinner. Oh so chilly. Okay my darlings, home sweet home. I'm stripped down to my thermal. Oh <laughs> I hope it's not too revealing and it's gonna take me a little while to defrost. <laughs> it's definitely gonna take a little while because it was blooming freezing tonight, but such a wonderful evening. Um, Blenheim Palace really is such a gorgeous place to go, especially with children. Um, I think that I would say that the light trail is about an hour realistically. Could take you a lot longer if you're stopping to admire every single one, but I'd say you can do it in an hour. And the inside of the house is so magical this year with the Sleeping Beauty theme. Just so many things to look at, such a, a sense sense for the eyes, treat for the eyes. Loved the little cocktail sausages. And then we went to the Killingworth Castle that we went to last year for my birthday as well. Um, and it's a really nice spot to go nearby. So a lovely evening. Um, I'm getting my evening skincare routine done in here because I thought the lighting might be a little bit better and I think it is. Um, so yeah, and the sink is literally just that, so this is perfect. I am of course using, I've got a giant tub of the Yves Lomme cleansing balm and the ingredients within this are just so delightful for the skin that I like to leave it on my face for a good 5-10 minutes. It's a really nice one if you like to do a little bit of a facial massage in the evenings as well. Just melts down all of your makeup, gives your skin all the goodness from the gorgeous ingredients, um, leaving you with hydrated and glowing skin. I feel like I even look like I'm having a facial with the glow that it's already giving, but it's late tonight so I'm not going to leave it on for 5 minutes. I'm going to wash this off straight away. Okay, my skin is now perfectly clean, but not like uncomfortably dry, which is what makes this just the ultimate cleanser. Now for hydration, especially after a really cold evening and four or five hours out in the cold, I need this now more than ever. This is the Renewal Treatment Oil from Yves Lomme. Don't forget, Josie20 will get you 20% off because these are 
premium beauty products so a little discount code is a lovely gift from Evelon. Thank you very much to them. This contains 10 different botanicals of some of the incredible ingredients within this. It's full of antioxidants and ceramides, which are so good for skin tone, skin texture, brightness. I think it promises 12 hours of hydration. If you like a light oil, then this is for you. I feel like you get all of the nourishing, hydrating benefits of a heavy oil, and yet the consistency is a light oil. I think you can actually visibly see how much happier my skin is after just one lovely light application. And again, if you've got um, any massage tools, this is a really lovely product to use with that. You can, and I do wear this under makeup to get that gorgeous, healthy glow. Cannot recommend this any more highly, especially if you're looking for something with really lovely ingredients that's super luxurious and just gonna keep your skin gorgeously hydrated. Anything that's left, I just kind of put it through the ends of my hair because I feel like the ingredients are so lovely, why should it Why should it just be my face? And also the back of my hands as well. Um, sometimes I will use a mixture of serums, I will use a face cream and an oil, um, but tonight I feel like just a good, a good drink is what my skin needs. So there we go, my darlings. Um, before we get into bed, I'm going to see if Charlie's up for doing today's advent calendar because I realised we haven't done that yet. Um, so let's see. Let's see if he's not too tired and if he is too tired then this will be the end of the vlog. <laughs> so if you don't see a clip after this it means that Charlie is already in bed. But hopefully we can persuade him to do the advent calendar day three. His lordship is not yet in bed which means we can do our advent calendar. We'll do a speed version this yeah. evening shall we because we're, we're both, we're both very it's been tired a day, but, uh, a but long... a chilly one. And chilly one. A chilly yeah. one. So right. let's have a little look for numero un de toi. Un de toi. I can see it. It's a star. Star of wonder, star of light. That's probably my favourite hymn, actually. Star Where's of the city, city key bright. No, I think it's not, not bright. Oh, my baby. Okay. Gosh, I read that first word as Agabaveni. Agab Abagaveni. A little town in Wales. Yeah. Arguably the least featured room in the house. Black bathroom. No. <gasps> probably, that probably is, but I don't really count that as a room. Cause it's a, Your FIFA it's a, room? Well, you got to stop calling it that. Because <laughs> that's, the, Josie that's the only thing that we ever do, in, you ever do in that room. When was the last time I played FIFA? Okay, Charlie and Jack's clear, FIFA 2022. room. <laughs> so I, have, I bought a PlayStation 5 because I thought, oh, do you know what? It's a nice way to switch off. You're not on your phone. Like, obviously, yes, it's technology, but... Um, and I have not played that PlayStation 5. Should we rebrand that room right now? Well, it, 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 we used to call it the snug. The reality is, and I'm sure this speaks to everyone, no matter what size your house, what stage of life you're at, if, if, even if you're just renting or whatever, probably more so if you've bought a house, we all have a room that we kind of had an art or a, or a space in a house that you had an idea for mm. when you first moved in. And then your, your whole approach to life <laughs> and your whole, everything's mm. changed and you just completely look at that space or that room or that piece of furniture and like, what on earth were we thinking? We could turn it into an this, infrared sauna I room. I think that that room will obviously eventually, hopefully become, well, it will probably initially become a guest room because mm. our two guest rooms on this floor will hopefully become children's bedrooms. Mm. And then eventually I think it will become quite a cool children's bedroom mm. when they're old enough to go up these stairs because it's that set of stairs that worries me. There were quite a few comments um, on um, Christmas maybe. in the Cotswolds day one. People can't wait to see little children. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting on Christmas isn't it? because we've not really thought about our. I don't think we will. I think we'll have to really think about how we approach showing a baby. I don't know. Yeah. Let's hope. I mean, who knows? We don't know what's going to happen what's yeah, around the corner. But who knows? anyway, so yeah, that room is the least featured purely because it's kind of it is a backup room in a way. We're very lucky that we have. Did a we room decide we were going to rebrand it then? Well, I think we just call it the snug, but no, we, we never use let's it. Let's call it the snug. It is right, snuggly. Let's go, let's go my favourite little secret way. <laughs> in the darkness. These two parallel corridors confuse a lot of people when they visit this house. Right, right after you, darling. You're going up. Thank you. We're going up. Up, up and away. This is the snug. Lloyd switch. Okay, got to find. Aha! Two trolley burgers. You managed to find the little ones. 
Yay, an Adelsford bag. Oh, wow. What is inside? Ooh, is oh, yeah, it? You might as well sit down and open these. Okay. I think this this is sort of blueprint for an advent calendar. Uh -huh. I think you've got to have a handful of fun experiences spread out evenly throughout the advent calendar. Yes. You know, like three or four or five nice experiences. You've got to have a couple of boring basics like socks, which yes, will definitely be making an appearance. Good, I love but socks. I always put a snow globe in there for you. That's and then also um, this. Christmas tree charms. Ooh, okay. I hope you like these ones, these are quite cool. Is these this, are handmade. Is this how they wrap them at Delsford? This is, these are not from Delsford. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> these are older online, but the they didn't come in. The turquoise is not on brand No, it's a brand called Glass Set. Oh, how Glass cute set. is that? So they're kitchen oh, garden wow. inspired. Oh, well, are they? They're garden-y. I can't grow oranges in my no, kitchen garden. citrus. That's beautiful quality. Yeah. Did you say you found these on Etsy? No, Glass Set. Glass Set. Oh, you cut my head off. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Um, yeah, gla Glass Set. Oh, nice. Glass and then eat like a set, but glass. How adorable. Um, oh my gosh! Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that this one's quite one cool. This one is stunning. It's like a little pea pod with two golden peas. Like the golden snitch. And we were just discussing, because we watched, the day before yesterday, we watched um, Harry Potter. Has a poser. Has a poser. And um, Quidditch just doesn't make sense, because once you catch the snitch, the game's over, well, so why bother with the rest of it? Qu Quidditch is one of those games, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Quidditch. But Quidditch is one of those games that's a perfect example of a game that you maybe invented as a child in your garden, where... When you figure out the rules it and actually think sense. it through, you're like, if this was to become a professional sport, you'd essentially just pick an entire team of seekers. Yeah. Because there's no point in worrying about oh. scoring, what do they call them? The, the goals. The bludgers. No, the, 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 no, the goals. The, the, there's just no point. You just say, yeah, you crack on, you, you chuck the ball through the hoop, we're just going to focus on finding the snitch. Yeah. That's what I would do. Well, I would do that as well. You tell them. Yeah. Wow, these are stunning. They're really random things that they've yeah. chosen well, they're, to... Yeah, they're... Radicchio. Yeah. That's cool. You know what, you should have just put one of these in a different day. I'd have been I, so happy I to know. see that today. I should have done that. <laughs> Thank oh, you, well. darling. This is so that sweet. Of That's all of them. That is yeah. so cute. Well, I just cute. thought they were all... I think, obviously, those two are this less my so. Favorite. This is more... What's that? That's, um... Radicchio. Yeah. Yeah. And then this one is, like, pink Radicchio. I thought they were quite cute. That's adorable, but this one's the best. Yeah, that was the more expensive one, actually. Gorgeous. Right, darlings, I think they're going to end Before today's we go, vlog here. Oh. Can, I, can someone just please explain to me this about Harry Potter? <laughs> it does bother me, though, because I absolutely love Dumbledore so much. Why, when he has the Elder Wand, is he not the most... What, like, why can't he defeat Voldemort from day one? Yet when Voldemort thinks he has the Elder Wand, although it's not obviously... His because it's technically Harry's because of the whole complicated uh, thing that the wand stays with the person that won the battle. What? what yeah, do you see what I mean? Well, like, I can't. As, so well, Dumbledore what, has the Elder Wand to begin with. Dumbledore it? has the Elder Wand the entirety of the first five films. Yeah. He only loses it when Draco Malfoy disarms him. Right. At the top of that building thing. Yeah. And then it gets buried with. Dumbledore. Dumbledore, sorry, he doesn't disarm him. Yeah, he does disarm yeah. him. It gets buried with him, and then Voldemort takes it, but technically it's then Harry's. Draco's. It, no, it's Harry's, because Harry disarmed... Draco. Draco. When they're imprisoned. It, exactly, exactly. But my point being, all along, why doesn't Dumbledore just use the Elder Wand to kill Voldemort? If someone can answer me that, that will help me sleep better at night, because it actually bothers me. Dumbledore could have just done it all without Harry. Didn't even need Harry. How did Dumbledore get the Elder Wand? Is that what happens no. in... No, yeah, that's what apparently... I did a bit of a Google because I, I was a bit confused about the whole wand swapping stuff because it is quite confusing. <laughs> um, and the Elder Wand is originally owned by Grindelwald who is in the um, Fantastic Beast films. Oh my gosh. So and he's an evil that? guy. He's a bad guy, right? Grindelwald. And it makes sense because in that film... I'm sure a lot of people are tuning out now. But in that film... Uh, the la one of the last Harry Potter films, you know when those flashbacks where Voldemort's shouting at some guy in prison, bald guy who's a bit crazy in Azkaban, that is Grindelwald. Oh. Grindelwald? Grindelwald? Don't know. Well, the anyway, ski resort is called Grindelwald. All I know is Dumbledore could have just done it on his own. 
Should didn't need called, Harry. Should have been called Dumbledore. He should have just said, Harry, do you know, save all these films. Should The film should just be called... Actually, they should just make a new film series about the making of Dumbledore. Although I think that That's might be... That's not a fantastic piece. Well, we need to watch, watch them because we've never watched them. Not tonight because it's nearly midnight, but... Right, anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 3. We will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Good night!